Hey guys, today I would like to talk about the Microsoft Wireless Display Adapter specifically for the Surface Pro 3 but you can also use it for any Windows 8.1 laptop, desktop and also any Android devices as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick unboxing and then we'll go straight into testing out this unit and show you guys how this is used and how fast it is as far as lag goes and uh, quality of the dis uh, display whenever it's connected wirelessly. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing. Okay. So let's go ahead and unbox it. Here you go. Let see here. Okay. So the device is very simple. It's just a. Uh, it's just this piece right here. Let's go ahead and take this part. That's inside the box. So you have the device as a cover, the uh, HDMI port, USB on the other side for your plugs. It does come with an extension cord for the HDMI and I'll explain why this is better in a little bit. Then you have the little Microsoft instruction manual and of course the Microsoft exposure warranty information as well. So that's all you got in this box. So when I explain to you why Microsoft decided to use the HDMI extension instead of a USB ex extension or a longer USB cord um, or the adapter itself uh, and this is just my opinion but I think it's a valid reason the reason why they are using the extension they're providing the extension to the HDMI is because <clears throat> HDMI cables are easier to find than USB extensions and it's easier to find for people that are not too computer savvy most people will not know what uh, uh, know if there's a USB extension available, but they do know there's a, a HDMI cable that they can find anywhere. And if you provide this to them, it's easy for them to look for a, a HDMI ex uh, cable. And HDMI cables are lying around in houses everywhere nowadays, so anybody can easily uh, pick one up or have one line around that they can use to extend the the uh, the device's HDMI. So this cord is really short. This cord to the USB is really short and the reason being is if your TV is less than five years old you should have a USB plug in the back of your TV right next to your HDMI ports. And if you don't um, you can always use the extension but of course the other good thing about this adapter is that you can plug this USB into any wall outlet and it'll still it'll still power up the device so that's really a, a simple feature uh, I like how Microsoft designed this item uh, and there is a there's one little switch on the back not sure if you can see it. Let's see if I can focus in. There's one little switch on the back of this device, and whenever you plug it in, you have to click on it once before your TV will actually uh, find the find the adapter. So let's go ahead and plug this in and see how it fares against the Surface Pro 3 and the streaming capabilities. Um, once you turn on the screen and uh, to the correct HDMI input that you plugged it into on the TV and a USB port on the back of the TV, uh, you'll see the screen once you press the uh, once you press the uh, the button on the adapter. So the screen is uh, what you'll see before you connect anything. So I have my Surface Pro 3 here. And what I'm going to do is, 
Let's see here. If I can get this focus, 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 focus. All right. So what I'm going to do is swipe the over and press the device button. Project. And it sees my display adapter because I already added it. Click on that. Okay. So now my TV mirrors my Microsoft Surface Pro 3. Okay. Pretty neat, right? Pretty neat. get darker so you guys can see what is on my screen there we go all right so it's it's really clear um, it's exactly it's doing exactly what I'm doing very 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 minor lag I'd say about point 0.2 second lag. So I'll open up the weather app. I'll automatically open it up. Now, one thing to, to note on this thing is that once my surface is connected to my TV, because my TV is 1080p, my surface resolution also becomes 1080p. But what you can do is instead of doing a mirror, you can do a device project and you can do extend so it extends your desktop to the second screen so now your surface pro 3 is at its full resolution and your TV is blank waiting for you to share an app so I can go into my desktop and you can still see my desktop on my TV but I can I can have uh, I can use my mouse or my trackpad on my Surface Pro 3 keyboard and move the the, the screen over to see I can move it over to my TV so you can do it that way for now I'm just going to mirror my Surface Pro 3. Okay, and I can play. Um, I can do anything actually. I can. I can read a. And do a crossword. <clears throat> All right. I can look at photos on my Surface Pro Three. And I can play Asphalt 8. It's running on my Surface Pro 3. And I'm just looking at the big screen to play. Now, the sound also comes from the TV as well because it's HDMI, so everything is transferred over. Pretty awesome, right? I can browse the web. Control it with my SP3. And of course I can watch YouTube videos. So 50 Shades of Grey trailer. I'll just show you a little bit of it.
So you get a little lag, and it, uh, not because of the not because of the of the connection, is because of my internet. My internet is not as stable, so you're going to get lag. If your internet's really fast, then you won't get any lag. <clears throat> Again, this does not require internet to broadcast. Uh, it's a direct connection, direct Wi-Fi. So what that basically means is uh, I can be at a hotel room not connected to, to the hotel internet plug this into the TV and I can watch uh, a movie say I can watch a movie from my laptop on my t on a TV so that way I don't have to be scrunched up on a small laptop to watch TV I can do presentations on it so yeah, <clears throat> there's numerous things you can do with this device and the clarity is 1080p, so what you see on your laptop is what you see on the big screen. I'm loving it. I have no issues with it, and so far it connects just like that. Um, is it expensive? Yeah, it's expensive. It's $60, so it is uh, really expensive. But what you're getting is not just a Chromecast. On Chromecast, you can use just Chrome browser and some other apps that come with it but with this device you can use anything that you can think of on your laptop it doesn't matter if it's a desktop, it doesn't matter if it's gaming uh, it doesn't matter if it's um, watching a movie checking your email, calendars, anything it mirrors everything that your laptop shows so essentially this is basically the answer to Apple's, Apple TV's uh, mirroring uh, device, excluding the apps and with a seamless connection and you don't have to carry around your Apple TV everywhere you go with that extended power cord um, and no subscription required. So hopefully this review helped you guys if you guys were unclear about the Microsoft Display Adapter. I know I was before I bought this thing. And now that I purchased it, I'm actually loving it. So I'm going to keep it. It is $60, $65 with tax, but it's well worth the investment. Thank you for, uh, thank you for watching. And again, please subscribe if you like my and please comment if you have any questions. Thank you.